Hey, what's happening, you one Sir James coming at you guys with another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing a few products within Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. More specifically, I'm going to be reviewing the Jedi Tunic, the Jedi Belts, and of course, last but not least, I have a lightsaber belt clip that we're going to be demoing today as well, and I have two lightsabers to utilize with this demo. In this case, the lightsabers in question is the one that I bought on Savi's. And of course we have my friend the lightsaber, which is one of the legacy ones, in this case more specifically, Obi-Wan Kenobi's. So let's go ahead and start with the belt clip. Now do keep in mind that for the belt clip, this isn't in the Outfitters, this is actually located in Doc Ondar's. So this is going to be the location if you need the clip. But everything else for the most part, except for the sabers of course, is located in the Outfitters. In this case, for the costumes by the way, if there's any confusion, the only parts that are available in the Outfitters is of course you have your robe, which I did not get and I'll explain why in a few minutes. You have your tunic and your belts, meaning pieces like the under tunic, pants and boots, you're gonna have to get somewhere else or make it. Uh, there's different options out there. So uh, I can understand why Disney might not have done that. But at the same time, it would just make the process a lot easier to get a whole Jedi outfit without having to go and get bits and pieces. So it's kind of really up to you what you wanna do. Again, here is the packaging for the belt clip. So, I don't know, I kind of feel like you're paying extra for the packaging. But, I mean, at the same time, if you want to recycle this, you could always, like, put um, a cut here in the plastic sleeve. And you could kind of use this as a little uh, coin box if you wanted to. So, kind of get a double use out of it. And, of course, here is the belt clip. Something you can do as an idea if you are putting a Jedi costume or Sith costume together is maybe you can get some metallic paint and do a little bit of a brush metal like scrapes and scratches uh, to kind of customize this into a little bit more detail. But again, it's open air, so it's completely up to what option you want to go with. So here is the main part. In this case, the sabers I'm demoing will be using this portion here. When you have a saber put in here, it actually locks into place. Let me grab one. So here we have Obi-Wan's Legacy Saber. Oh, and I'm not doing this right. There you go. I wasn't uh, hitting the, you gotta uh, make sure it's pushed far back and then you can click down. So that's basically how it would hang there and it's not going to come off or anything like that. In order to remove it, there are this button here and this one here, you push in like so. And then of course you can remove it, simple as that. There's also another portion for those of you who have the D-ring. This will actually come down. And then you got a slot for your D-ring. When you have it attached, as you can see, it won't even come out. You would have to push this in in order to get the saber back out. So overall, as far as how secure this makes your saber, very good. Then, of course, you also have the belt clip on the back of it. So very easy, simple to use, so nothing too complicated there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my pocket because we're going to need this in just a bit. Here we have a Jedi belt. Now, mind you that this th that I have in my hands is actually a child size belt, extra large. The reason why I have a child size belt, extra large, and not an adult small is because when I was there during my time yesterday on June 8th during the 11 a.m. Uh, preview time is the fact that they didn't have many adult sizes at all. Like literally the only adult sizes that were left for the Jedi version was adult 2XL and 3XL. Those things are big. That's not going to fit me. I'm a skinny guy. So uh, thankfully, because of how skinny I am, I was able to utilize a child one. Though, if they do end up getting an adult small, that's the one I'm probably going to go with for sure. But for now, as a demo for this video, I figured I'd get this. And then if I do get the new belt, I could give this one to my baby brother. So it's kind of a win-win situation. So here it is. Of course, you do get a nice pouch. The back, and you might be wondering, how does this connect? This actually uses a Velcro system, which since we're here talking about the material, again, this is a uh, child uh, extra large. Actually, it's a mixture of large and extra large, um, but this is simulated leather. Is that you just uh, remove this portion off to the side and you have Velcro. And this, when you have it on, 
especially all the way, this is very, very strong. Good Velcro indeed. And of course, this pocket here actually does open up. Now, you might be thinking, okay, it's gonna be like a nice pocket for your cell phone. Uh, most cell phones are probably not gonna fit in here. I can't demo mine because I'm using it right now. Um, but yeah, this is a very small one. If you have like a small flip phone, for sure. But what I utilize this pocket for is of course to carry my extra Kaiba crystals. So, you know, whatever it is that you wanna utilize that little small pocket for. Again, not too many things you can do with it, but it is there available. And don't worry, I'll be putting everything on because next up is the tunic. Now, the tunic comes in two pieces. The first individual piece is the belt itself. Try to give you guys a closer look here. So it's nicely detailed. And there's actually a hidden Mickey, which is located over here. So a little hidden Mickey's on the clips there. So again, that's one piece. And then the second piece is the actual tunic itself. And I have to say this, the quality of this feels so, so good. Actually, I never really looked at this. This is 96% polyester. No wonder it felt so good. But uh, yeah, like I said, here is the main tunic. It, it looks a bit of a mess, but once we get everything put together, it would all make sense. Now for this one here, by the way, I am five feet, seven inches tall. And the option that I chose for sizing is a small medium. Uh, I was trying to debate between small, small and small medium, um, but I liked how the, the sleeves fit on for this sizing on me a little bit better. But again, uh, you may vary per person. So there is the, um, if it will focus. I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. Um, but anyways, so how this works is that you take this, of course, put it on like normal. Now already something's not looking right. It's almost like I'm wearing a bathrobe, so to speak. Um, but how this works is that on both sides, there is a male and female connector. So on this portion on the left-hand side, you got the male connector. This is a little black nub there. There's two of them. There's one here and there's one here. And then on this piece, you got one right here and a connector piece right here. So what you do is that you'll have this like so and then you're gonna go ahead and lift this part. The male connector closest to you, which in this case will be this piece, is going to connect on this one, like so. Then you take the one that's furthest away from you and you'll put it into the connector on the far right-hand side. And that's basically how that portion goes. Now, of course, you have these pieces. Uh, which, by the way, typically when it comes to, actually, let me lower this for you guys. Uh, typically, when it comes to the Jedi outfits, uh, you have these shoulder pieces here. What's nice about these ones, these are actually sewed in. So because they're sewed in, these are not actually going to fall over like the most typical Jedi costumes tend to do. Obviously, some people will end up fixing that. But again, these are sewed in, so you don't have to worry about that. So make sure that's all fixed. Then of course, you're gonna go ahead and get your belts. There's a couple ways of putting this on. It's completely up to you how you wanna do it. Just gotta make sure I got it the right way. So to make it the easiest way is put the belt on backwards. And then go ahead and put the clips in. So once you got the clips in, just basically turn the belt around like so. And don't forget to fix this portion here. So fix that. And then of course, fix the other side.
and now you are pretty much oop okay never mind <laughs> uh i may keep that in or i may edit it out i'm not entirely sure all right so once you have everything together this is basically how the tunic will go into place and then the next step is the belts so again probably the easiest way to do the belts let me make sure my kaiba crystals do not fall out here to take this off and go ahead and put it on backwards and then once you have it in place go ahead and make sure you get this um, main piece here which covers the velcro slide it over then go ahead and rotate the belt all the way around make whatever fine-tuned adjustments that you need to do. So once I get this going here, all right, so we got that there, that going on. Go ahead and fix the shirt. So once you get everything into place, then you're basically good to go. And of course, last but not least, is we need that belt clip for our lightsaber. Take that attach it to your belt like so and now you are ready to go so the next thing that you need to do is go ahead and grab your lightsaber whether it's the one with the black nub on the top of it or the d-ring style again this will work either way the first demo here that we have is of course the legacy lightsaber for obi-wan kenobi again found in galaxy's edge As you can see, there's no issues. This can fling around perfectly fine. I'm not worried about this flying away anytime soon, uh, but it works like it's supposed to do. So very good. Next, let's go ahead and use a much heavier lightsaber. In this case, my lightsaber from Savi's workshop. Again, this is way heavier compared to the legacy one. Take this, just like that, no issues. Like I said, it's really important to keep in mind for the belt, make sure you get a belt that fits you perfectly. Again, for me, I should go with a, an adult small once that comes into play, so that way this is be a little bit more secured because this, as far as the backing goes, is hanging on just by a bit. So if I was holding this lightsaber here with this child's belt, um, I would be a bit concerned about it pretty much coming off me for, and uh, this dropping on the floor, which that's something I want to completely avoid. But again, it's very easy to do. Now you might be wondering about the robe. How come I didn't get the Jedi? Ooh, let me go ahead and fix this again. It's a little bit hard being a one man show. So you might be wondering how come I didn't get the Jedi robe to go with this. The only reason why is that I was a little bit concerned from the images and photos that I seen and when I was in the land myself I got a closer inspection and the robe isn't too bad but I feel like I could probably get something better off Etsy. That's just my personal opinion. I mean if you want something more on the cheaper side then you could easily get the one at the park with no issues but like I said uh, there's some extra features that I personally want with my robe. More specifically I want a robe where I could store my lightsaber blade in it and I have to carry this around because I have to carry this around then I might as well just be holding my lightsaber the entire time but I'd rather walk around and have two options either one me posing blade in hand or two with me with my lightsaber in the hilts. So again that's the option I'm going to go with. The ones that they have for the outfitters for both Jedi and Sith there is no pocket for your blade. Um, but overall the quality of it isn't too bad there's just probably better options you can go with in my opinion as far as the tunic goes the belt clip and the belt itself for sure i'd easily recommend this 100 percent and it's really comfortable i just like the look of it i mean once you have a jedi or sith tunic on i mean you feel like a badass i'm not gonna lie but um some really cool stuff there and i will say as far as robes go they do have one available in Doc Otter's Den, which is the Emperor Palpatine's. That one is a lot different. It's awesome. And it even has a lightsaber, or 
the blade pocket for it too. And you know, for $250, you better have everything included. So the Emperor Palpatine's robe, excellent, highly recommend. As far as the Jedi and Sith robes, it's completely up to you, it's your mind. It just, I feel like you go with something better, but that's just my opinion. And you know what, since I'm in costume, mine as well. Oop, here we go. You know, pose with you guys really quick. Oop, turn that on a little bit too prematurely. So I figured, you know what, I have you guys here right now. Let's go ahead and uh, dim the lights really quick. And that way I can fool around with the green screen because that's always the fun of it. All right, here we go. Hello there. Okay, I'm not Obi-Wan. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just like once you get the costume together and have everything, I don't care if I'm 29 years old, I feel like a kid again. Actually, I, I'm always acting like a kid at this age, but I mean, it's just a lot of fun. If you love cosplaying, you gotta get this for sure. Do keep in mind though, if you go with this option, there are gonna be some additional pieces that you need to get. As you can see here, I have a black shirt underneath me, which means I need an under tunic. I have seen some options on Etsy, and I think there's some on eBay, but just do your research. If you can make one, sweet, we'll save you some money. But if not, I've seen some nice options on Etsy for sure. And of course, you're also going to need to get pants. I'm wearing shorts right now because I don't have proper pants anyways. And of course, you're also going to need boots. So those are going to be the additional items that you need. Like I said, the rope, whether or not you get the one from the land or not, that's completely an optional accessory. But again, the under tunic, pants, and boots, those are gonna be a must have in order to complete your Jedi or Sith outfit. But if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on the next review.